Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the week that was. Hashtag catch up. The things I've been making for all the different hashtags out there that I'm joining in on. Um, welcome to those new subscribers. We've had a few join us. Um, remember, it's never too late to join my make along. Hashtag yarn vacation AU. I will leave a link up here somewhere to the playlist. You can always jump in late and uh, join us because it's not that hard. So let's get started. Well, first of all, I have an acquisition for you um, to share with you. It was my gift voucher from Thing for Christmas. He gave me a gift voucher to Black Wattle Yarns. I've had their yarn before, um, but when I got on their um, website, I noticed they had some beginner yarn dyeing kits and I tried yarn dyeing with food colouring last year, year before probably, which I really enjoyed and I thought you know I should give this a go. So this is Ashford's introduction to yarn dyeing. I'm only just opened it, I haven't even looked at what's inside. I don't even know how you, if I can, because it's sealed really. I think it's quite tightly sealed. I have to bear with me. So that was one of the things I bought and with the balance of the gift voucher I did buy a little bit of yarn to go with other yarn that I have and I am not going to get this open right now. Just hold on a sec. Okay, we got it open. I haven't opened it earlier in the week because I've been extremely busy. Today is Sunday where I'm taking some chill out time from work. So that's why I'm opening it now. So inside is four colours, black, yellow, hot pink and blue, little dives that come with it. A heap of instruction booklets that tell you how to dye stuff which I'm going to have a go at this and it comes with two skeins of yarn um, natural yarn to dye to have some fun with so I'll let you know how I get on with an um, introduction to this actual um, yarn dyeing kit it comes with 200 grams of yarn kit includes dyes and 200 grams of yarn um, and they're all 10 gram bottles of dye. It costs $63.90. So it's not a cheap option, but um, when it's a gift voucher, why not have some fun? I also bought, to use up the voucher, some yarn. I've had their yarn before, it's really nice. Um, but I haven't bought it direct from the farm before. I've usually bought it from my shop. So this is Sweet Pea 4 Ply, which I've had before in the colour Sunshine Bliss. Ta -da. Of course I'm going to buy oranges. When I um, was online buying all this with my gift voucher, I had a particular project in mind and this was to go with other yarns that I have. I'm still undecided yet as to whether I'll do these yarns or scrap yarns, but I will explain later. So that was from um, Black Wattle Yarn and Fibre, which is a, um, an indie type farm dyer in New South Wales, south of me. So that is my first acquisition to tick off, my one and only this week, no ha other happy mail. My first hashtag, of course, is the hat of the week for Bago Day Appalooza, hat Appalooza, Bago Day hat Appalooza. That's the hashtag with Mad Mimi's crochet and farming. She's doing that. And this week's hat, the unisex beanie, rain must fall. Now, here's mine. But I made mine into a ponytail beanie for a friend. And I used wool spun and it's a, um, a five weight. It's called Mesa Print, this particular. Um, I had this in my stash, so I shopped my stash. Hashtag shop your stash. And 
I wanted to use it out. I have a friend who liked this and um, but did want a ponytail beanie and I would put it on for you but the actual beginning of it is really quite tight around my head and I don't want to spoil it for her. I might put a picture of it on a foam model if I remember to do that. So this is Lion Brand's Wool Spun, made in Turkey, colour Mesa print, 80% um, acrylic, 20% wool. That's there. I have um, two skeins there, 85 gram skeins. And to make the hat, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, thought I wrote it down. I used about 110 to 115 grams one ball plus a bit but there you have it she really loves it and yeah that's going to a friend so that is hat number week four I think but I've made five hats because I messed up last time but this was really nice um, I used a six millimeter hook I went with a bigger yarn at her suggestion because I do find that I have to go with a smaller hook or bigger yarn and I quite like the feature stitch on this pattern and it worked well. So that is my hat for hashtag bag a day hat a palooza. So then we have Amagurumi Wars. Well I thought I wouldn't get much more done for January and um, and I thought oh I had something started and I wasn't sure I'd get it finished but I did. Dun, 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 dun. Here he is. The Hungry Caterpillar. I did this on Free Pattern Friday. I showed a couple of patterns. This is the A ply, the DK weight, and I finished him. He is really cute. There'll be a picture of him at the end. Um, it was just fiddly to make. I didn't do felt eyes. I actually embroidered the eyes on. That's why they're not that great. But that is it there. The pattern I used was um now there's no name on this pattern but it's on Ravelry and as per usual all the links to patterns, channels, tutorial will be in the description below if you want to check them out. Like this one for bag a day, this pattern, that's a tutorial. I'm not sure if she has a pattern for it but there's definitely a tutorial for that and as always really easy to follow. This is the Hungry Caterpillar inspired crochet pattern. Now for this, for him, I used... Um, my what is it called Starcraft DK scraps sometimes when I have a lot of scraps left over one particular yarn I'll put them in a little bag and put with a ball band so I know what brand they are so they're all Starcraft and it used 58 grams of different scraps so besides Amigurumi rules I will be putting him in a Soxy Nana Alice's make along um, Soxy Scrap Along 2023, something like that. Make sure you check out the hashtag. But he turned out really cute. So he will be my last entry for Amagurum Awards in January. And that's the pattern there. You'll find it on Ravelry. So that was that one. Now, this is where I am going to triple dip into three hashtags. First of all, testing your limits with my yarny corner on face and on instagram because i started this project in october uh, october the first i think um with good intentions of making these and for some reason i got waylaid but i have made my second pair ever socks i really like these Ta -da! there they go there'll be a picture at the end my socks are finished. Testing your limits. Well, I didn't really like the heel flap and gusset that I made on the first pair. And Alex at my yarny corner always raves about the shadow wrap heels. So I bought Earth Tone Girls shadow, uh, socks, ex, 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 socks Exploration. Sorry, I'm not very good at this. The shadow wrap heel sock. And it was longer, but I didn't make it quite as long. And I didn't make it as a shorty. They fit me really well. The only issue I had was I made one before Christmas and then I got sidetracked. I started the other one and I got sidetracked. And what I noticed when I finished them this morning is my tension changed. 
and the one I made recently this finished this morning is a little bit firmer than the one I did in October they are they are the same size you cannot notice it but I can feel it when it's on my foot it's just that little bit firmer whether it's because the one I had made in October I left on a sock blocker because I don't make socks I've always been frightened of making socks but I have to admit I love the shadow wrap heel it wasn't the fact that it was difficult that took me so long it's the fact that it is fine yarn which I do find difficult and I just got busy and it was one of those whips that sat on the side so for test hashtag testing your limits hashtag crack that whip with little ICAC and whip be gone with recreational knitting triple digging dipping three hashtags because I worked hard finishing these and I think I should triple dip I am contemplating whether I do a third pair of socks and and yes this yarn was from Alex at my yarning corner it's it was a sock set called camping it doesn't do this color justice there are lots of jewel tones in it purples greens it is really nice and I do like it so with you know, Alex always making great socks these are just vanilla socks with a um, shadow wrap heel and she's always showing great shops she may have inspired me to try a third pair which is why I ordered the black wattle yarn to go with other yarn and the reason being is I don't know if I'll make a scrappy pair of socks because I'm not great I don't know where you can see it probably there at the color changing and I thought if I did this morning when I was finishing up I thought if I do scrappy shot socks maybe I will improve my color changing let me know what you think is it um, difficult to learn to continually change colors they'll probably be vanilla socks but something a little different so my first ones were shorties I've gone a bit longer these ones of Alex has been showing off I'll let you know whether I do a third pair but um they're usually for me no one else is really interested in wanting my socks so that's my triple dip hashtag testing your limits with Alex of my yarning corner on Instagram Soxy Nana scrappy make along on Instagram and recreational knitting with be gone on oh I could oh I could do a four way I could do a quad dip whip be gone on Ravelry and also crack that whip on Ravelry with a little eye tag there you go four hashtags taken care of too easy mind you I did work hard on those socks so for me personally I haven't made a tea cozy in ages and I do like to make them and they do sell well on my charity um, craft stall I have I'm not doing February I must remember to send an email and say I'm not going to do February I'll do March it's far too wet and I am far too tired I think I need to chill out and rest up a bit but I got a pattern from my friend Colleen in Adelaide hello Colleen knitted tea cozy panda yarn which is Australian this one that I've never made before and for January I made it Ta -da! except I didn't do the pom-pom top for the life of me mine kept falling apart so I just went with these little twirly bits and a few scraggly bits and I made the small size for my little pot because I don't have many small ones in my um, stock and I sell a lot of them at the market the smaller ones the one cup teapot ones so yes the yarn I used for this is um, click Heaton country 8 ply DK and it's all pure wool. even my scrappy bits are all pure wool um, when I was talking about my food color dyeing that's part of my food color dyeing yarn there all wool, all pure wool now they are 50 gram balls and I used did I write down how much I used because 
Dun, 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 dun. No, I didn't. I think the 17 grams left from a 50 gram ball in the Clickheaton one. It's just got a colour number, but it's like a butter yellow. So yeah, it didn't take much yarn at all to make. But that's my January tea cosy. I'll probably do one a month and share it with you. The other thing I've been up to is, do I have enough hashtags to carry on with? Well, no. Because the first week of February, luck of the draw number seven starts. Now, where is it? I went through my yarn stock and shot my stash. Hashtag shot my stash. And then I um, decided on my eight colours for Luck of the Draw 7, of which I will be doing a black gan, a crocheted one probably. So I've done up my whip card for when the numbers come out. Some of them, it's going to be that range of colours. Now they're very similar in colours, but they are all different. Just probably a tone or two different. And this will be the first time I don't use one brand of yarn. I've got Red Heart Soft, I've got Mark Cute DK, I've got Marvel 8 Ply. And um, for number 8, because I want to use up my stash, when I run out of that colour, number 8 will be a medley colour. I will pick another greeny colour to go in its place because there's not a lot of that one. But that will be my whip card for Luck of the Draw 7. I've done Luck of the Draw 3, 4, 5 and 6. And I can't wait for number 7 to start with Nan's Next Knots. It starts first week of February. Don't quote me, but it could be the 2nd of February. And yeah, I'm excited because I will use up all this stash yarn by shopping my stash. So guys, that's pretty much it for me for this week. I really don't know what I'll work on tonight or whether what I'll whether I'll just take a break from crafting. I am planning on cooking something different for dinner and that may take a bit of time while I learn the recipe. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been a busy week with work, but I've still managed to get some whips finished. That's the important thing, to get some of the whips finished and done with and move on to something new. I've got to find some patterns for Amigurumi February. And yeah, life is fun. I am enjoying it. I am a little tired, but I am enjoying it. So until next time, stay safe, stay well. And maybe you should try a hungry caterpillar. I have a few in my garden attacking my lemon tree at the moment. Until next time, bye for now.